There's some situations where you might need to make an app that has role-based access control based off the user that's logged into the app. There's, there's a couple ways you can do it. One's the manual way where you basically have a table that's set up in your app and you list your email, your users by email and define a role. And then you could use um, security filters and user settings to basically set that up. Uh, the more sustainable way and I, I guess uh, less, uh, less manual way to do that would be using uh, domain authentication in AppSheet to set up user roles in the app and leverage either Active Directory, Google Domains, Okta, or any authentication service that uses OpenID Connect. So when you turn that on in AppSheet, uh, require domain authentication, you'll basically choose whatever authentication domain has been added to your account. And you can add these under my account, uh, under the integration section in, in your account settings. But you basically choose the authentication domain. Uh, you could give it a display. And um, if uh, if you want to restrict by the domain, if there's more than multiple, if there's more than one domain in a specific group, you can do that as well. But more importantly here, setting up your groups. When you add a group here, you, um, you can specify what group from the authentication source you want to use. And keep in mind, you have to have the ability to you know, read those groups from whatever account you use you add. And um, for user role, if you click on it, it's not the most straightforward. You only see two user roles, user and admin. However, you can come up with your own user role as well. So maybe you want to have a manager in there or something like that. You can just type that in here and then choose what app version uh, they can use as well. And then hit save. So that, uh, and you could add multiple groups as well. So you can create as many user roles as you want in your uh, application. So once you've set these up, then in uh, throughout AppSheet, uh, you can, you know, really simply as an example here at, at the table level, I can, you know, then use user role, maybe instead of user email, use this user role function here to retrieve whatever user role of the individual that's logged into the app and then basically define the uh, permissions they have right and like i said this this is just based off the table permissions level but this can apply be applied to user settings column settings to determine what columns are editable or not editable as well but um, user role is the function you would use to basically retrieve whatever role that user has when they're logged into 